Sam, I want you to tell me about your client. The one that used to come in every two weeks. And then one day she didn't. And then you found out something happened to her. Well, it's um, a story that I still have difficulty believing myself. It's still something that, you know, seems kind of funny. It's like a taboo, kind of, saying that my client was killed in a case of domestic violence. Um, this client I used to see all the time. She actually came in like every week um, to get her services. Never really missed a week unless, you know, by chance she was a nurse. So she was very, um, you know, had a very replicable career mm -hmm. in, the, in the course. Yeah. Um, so she came weekly. So if she was to miss appointment, I'm like, okay, maybe they just called her in. Yeah. But this one particular week, she did miss appointment. But um, from her history, I just assumed everything was, you know, pieces and cream. She just may have got caught a call. But on this particular week, it's kind of crazy even thinking about it. Mm. But this particular week, um, she did miss her appointment. But later on in the week, someone asked me. They didn't even really know that I knew this person. Mm -hmm. They just asked, did you see that case on the news? About this guy who stabbed his girlfriend. I'm like, no, I haven't. I checked the news, and lo and behold, it was my client. Mm, mm, mm. Um, she was dry, She had two daughters, and um, in the case of domestic violence, he actually broke into her house. Mm. Um, so it's actually a case that she was actually fighting domestic violence. These weeks she was going to me. She had a smile on her face. Mm. Um, I thought that she was just, you know, the separate wives you know you mm -hmm. would have never ever knew that she was struggling or had difficulty difficulties at home so actually you know even like thinking about it it was a case when she was here and um she actually stayed in town she actually lived out of town she was a long distance client. Mm -hmm. she actually stayed she actually stayed in town for a couple of days after she visited me mm -hmm. and that right there stuck with me once i found out the news that she had got killed mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, I, and I didn't think much of it. I'm like, okay, maybe she just got it like that. She's a nurse. She can afford to stay, you know, a couple of days on the beach. <laughs> so I didn't think much of it. But, um, after the fact that I saw the news report, it was on the news, um, and then it, you know, that did come back to my memory. Um, and then it's, it was a series. She was actually trying to get away from me. Um, and that brought back home why she was here for three days. Why did she want to stay here for three days? To get away from him. To get away from him. Hindsight. Now Hindsight. it's all coming together. Yes. Now with the puzzle yeah. is coming together here. And you checked the news and what happened to her? She was stabbed to death. Mm. She was stabbed multiple times. Mm. Yeah, she drove her out of her apartment. Mm. And this mm. is in broad daylight. Um, he stabbed her to death right there on the sidewalk with witnesses. So he's telling me that that rage is that strong. <laughs> The power, the control is that strong that she would kill someone in front of her daughters and in front of witnesses in broad daylight. So that right there hit home. How the world can you have a smile on your face? How can you function really in society knowing that you have this issue at home lurking? Mm, mm, mm. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes we look at a situation afterwards and we wonder, were there any signs or, you know, is there anything that I could have done? I know you said that one of the signs was that she wanted to stay at the beach for a couple of days longer, but do you think there were any other signs that she showed? She Bru was really bruises or anything? I never really seen a lot of bruises. Um, she was very complexed. Um, 
is nothing that really took me by shock. Mm. Um, she wasn't my only domestic abuse client that I had. Um, I have other persons who come in here and they won't take the shades off for nothing in the world. Mm. So, um, you know, that's a stronger case than I've seen in my other clients who got stabbed to death. Mm. Never seen any physical Okay, Sam, we were talking about business owners helping their clients. You've had clients that have come in and they've been in trouble. So if it happens in the future, what can you do to help them? Or what can you tell them? Do you know? Well, yes and no. At first, I had no idea how to help um, my clients in a time of need. Um, I wouldn't even know where to turn or who to get in contact with. Um, but through, you know, further knowledge or further networking, I actually realized that the police department now have a program, or they've always had a program mm. called a victim advocate. Mm. And um, in that program, they can seek help for you. They could find a shelter. Um, and in that shelter, they can possibly find a shelter elsewhere. If it's that strong of a case, we really do have to get away. Um, nowadays, I heard the the modern day domestic violence like they can really help you. They can change your change everything pretty much about you, including your children, for the time being to start a new life and for the better. That's a good idea. Advocacy. Time for us to be advocates. Thanks. Sometimes we look at a situation afterwards and we wonder, were there any signs or, you know, is there anything that I could have done? I know you said that one of the signs was that she wanted to stay at the beach for a couple of days longer, but do you think there were any other signs that she showed? She Bru was bruises or anything? Persons who come in here and 
they won't take the shades off for nothing in the world. Mm. So, um, you know, that's a stronger case than I've seen in my other clients who got stabbed to death. Mm. Never seen any physical surprise. So she's just good. You know, she had daughters. I'm sure she was used to covering up. Mm. She, well, she was used to putting on the front, mm. making it appear so everything was okay. Okay, Sam, we were talking about business owners helping their clients. You've had clients that have come in and they've been in trouble. So if it happens in the future, what can you do to help them? Or what can you tell them? Do you know? Well, yes and no. At first, I had no idea how to help um, my clients in a time of need. Um, I wouldn't even know where to turn or who to get in contact with. Um, but through, you know, further knowledge or further networking, I actually realized that the police department now have a program, or they've always had a program mm. called a victim advocate. Mm. And um, in that program, they can seek help for you. They could find a shelter. Um, in that shelter, they can possibly find a shelter elsewhere. If it's that strong of a case, we really do have to get away. Um, nowadays, I heard the the modern day domestic violence like they can really help you. They can change your change everything pretty much about you, including your children, for the time being to start a new life and for the better. That's a good idea. Advocacy. Time for us to be advocates. Thanks.
the deal. Yeah. Lush and hurts and pop a thing. Bang. 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 I know a few times to save me from a grave. Thank you, Lord. Bust and fight and lie and cheat. Bust and fight and lie and cheat. Demon thieving, man, I'm leaving. Demon thieving, man, I'm leaving.